Hello comrades, Commissar Bro here today with Afghanistan 11, one of the newest titles currently being developed by Slytherin. This is a preview build. This game is not officially released. It probably won't be released for another month or so. I'm not entirely sure. But, I do have a few things to go ahead and say about the game. It's very an interesting one to say the least. I'm going to try to minimize my opinions as much as possible about the various mechanics of the game because I mainly just want to show it off to you. Uh, with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at the campaign. The campaign, you have four tutorials, which trust me, they are needed to understand how the game is played. Um, it's a pretty, it's a pretty simplistic game, but a complicated game at the same time. It's simplistic in how everything works, but there's a lot of depth here. Um, we're going to do the Battle of Lashkagar first. And I will warn you, I literally just did a 30-minute video and I accidentally recorded the wrong thing. But I was basically playing through this and I did not manage to complete the mission. It's a tough mission and you'll learn very quickly that the Taliban are not the easiest of forces. But with that, let's go ahead and read the description. An Afghan National Army resupply convoy traveling on Highway 611 near Forward Operating Base Robinson was attacked by insurgents on March 29, 2006. Two British Harrier aircraft along with two American Apaches were dispatched from Kandahar Airfield to assist the stranded convoy. Two hours of fighting ensued with the militants eventually scattering, but a short distance of travel later and the convoy was hit by an improvised explosive device killing six soldiers. A quick reaction force comprising of a Canadian platoon was deployed in American helicopter helicopters to escort the convoy back to base. Four hours later, with the convoy safely back in the Ford operating base located near the town of Lashkar Gah, the Afghan insurgents resurfaced in the poppy, field, poppy fields in the south, the ruins of a mud house to the north, and in the hills to the west. The base was attacked with small arms fire, rocket-propelled grenades, and mortars. American Boeing B-52 Stratofortress bombers were used to end the battle, bringing their estimated loss to 30 people. And with that... Let's take a look at the game. So, this is kind of the strategic command screen, as it were. You'll see this pretty much at the start of every turn. Um, it gives you various information regarding, like, civil affairs report, the hearts and mind effect of people, um, your personnel report with the Afghan National Army, uh, and the, the eventual handover that you'll see late in later missions, uh, logistics, uh, intelligence, the political liaison, essentially who was in control of the uh, of Afghanistan. So basically, various bonuses, passive bonuses that affect either the Taliban forces or your forces, or even the Afghan National Army forces. Um, and then command being basically your objectives and what you're trying to do. Essentially, what we're trying to do is we're just trying to get two supply trucks to the forward operating base at Objective Alpha, and we're trying to prevent Bravo Base from being destroyed. Now, Bravo Base is Objective Alpha. This right here is Objective Alpha. If we scroll over, we can see this is our main base. This road being the primary transit system for which we need to get to the forward operating base. Now, how we do that is where this game is difficult. And definitely, it does not uh, assume you know, that you know exactly what you're doing. So, again, it's important to play the tutorials to understand how the game works and how it plays. Starting out, if I'm not mistaken, the Buffalo is a vehicle that can basically drive over IEDs just fine. So, what we're going to do is we're going to try to drive over some IEDs in case they are on the road. Yep, sure as hell. There's one we just ran over. Let's keep trying to drive. There's another one, but that one damaged us. So we want to stop that, and we want to take the buffalo back to base. But we did take out two IEDs, which is important. A good way to start. All right. We've got a couple of different units in the base, mostly MRAPs, two MRAPs, supply trucks, and so on. You can't get any more supply trucks than what you already have, but we can requisition infantry, which is definitely what we need to do. We're going to get three U.S. infantry uh, uh, squads. We are going to get, I think it's, actually, you know what? I think it's the Husky that can drive over mines. Whatever. We're about to find out. I'm going to get a Husky and a U.S. Special Forces unit. We're also going to get, mm, let's say, we're going to get two, well, how many Blackhawks do we already have? None. Wait, we have one. We have one Blackhawk. So we're going to get another Blackhawk because Blackhawks are incredibly useful and we're going to need those if we're going to maintain our dominance in the region. Starting out, 
We're going to go ahead and load up the, some of the infantry we just picked up. Uh, we'll take Bravo Company. Let's roll out a bit. Or scroll out, anyway. And we're going to take them, and we're going to fly over here to this little village. Oh, yeah. There we go. Flying over. I like the animations in this game. They're pretty cool. We're going to drop the squad right there in the town. And they're going to point out an IED on the road. So now we know those IEDs are there. That's something to keep in mind. But we're going to go ahead and take our dudes. We're going to sweep around this village real quick. Doesn't look like there was any IEDs. Thank God. And we're going to take our helicopter and we're going to pick our dudes back up. All right. So there we go. We have re put our dudes back in the uh, helicopter and we're going to click on the main base and we're going to click on Juliet Squadron our husky and we're going to move it down the road again looking for any IEDs on the road okay we don't want to move our supply trucks again we've only got four all we need to do is get two there so as long as we can accomplish that we'll be good to go uh, we're going to take one of our MRAPs we're going to load up a squad of I think we'll get the special forces guys the echo company we're going to move them in right behind the Husky. Oh, let's scroll down a little bit. <laughs> I like that. Um, all right, so that's as far as this dude can go. Yeah, he can't move very far per turn, but he is going to do his job just fine. We're going to take out our special forces guys out of it. These guys can spot insurgents. Uh, they can spot units coming up close on them. So that's basically what they're going to do right here is they're, they're going to act as spotters. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get our other MRAP, take one more squad of infantry. Okay, or not. I forgot to press the right button. Uh, where is it? Where was it? Whatever. We'll take Kilo Squadron. We'll load up some. We'll load up Delta Company, and we're just going to fly over here. Because this is, I'm basically planning on building a forward operating base between these two points. I can, but that would be expensive, so you want to be careful. The resource in this game that's the most important by far is political support. And every movement you do, every resource, resupply, or whatever you do, requires political support. Uh, so you need to be very careful about what you're, how, what you're using, how you're using it and so on. Uh, for example, an airstrike is 200 support, an emergency supply drop is 200 and it tends to get more expensive as the game goes on. Um, we are actually going to deploy that Buffalo though, actually after it repairs in the next turn. So we'll end our turn, let some things happen. We lost some political power. No, no big deal. No big deal. We still have plenty. Bravo is doing just fine, it seems. Um, we're going to take our Husky further down the road. Yeah, he's going to get to right about there. Alright, so no bombs, thank God. What we're going to do is we're going to resupply a Ford operating base. And we're going to click on the actual Ford operating base. And then these guys are going to move down the road. Wonderful. Wonderful. Now that we have it all pretty much secured, do the same thing with Charlie Squadron, this supply truck. Roger. Move it on up. Alright, we're going to do the same thing with all four of them. The mistake I made before is I tried to split them into groups of two because I assumed they had a better survivability. Oh, was I wrong. <laughs> I learned very quickly that you might as well just send them all at once. They have a better chance of making it to the end, after all. But thankfully, our drone recon ensures that no one's going to be coming from up here that we won't see. Thank God. So we're going to move up our Echo Squadron. Uh, Foxtrot is going to cover the rear, but we will load them back up into the trucks. And we'll put them right there. Actually, we'll put them right here. I want to make sure that we can see exactly what our enemies are doing. We're going to take Alpha Squadron. We're going to resupply their forward operating base as well we're just going to do the whole shebang sign the whole shebang all right and we're going to take the buffalo and we're going to send the buffalo in as well yeah, there you go get rolling there mr buffalo all right and the last thing i do want to do is i want to make sure that we leave 
our base with at least one garrison unit. It would be really stupid to, to not do that. Um, all right. We could just kind of hang out here and wait, or we could get loaded up in our helicopters, which is probably a better maneuver. All right. So we're going to take our helicopter, and we are going to fly over here to this village. We're going to check that village out and see if we can't get any more locations of IEDs on the road. Ah, uh, village was uncooperative. That's a shame. That is a shame. But it is what it is. Sometimes people just don't like you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Alright, but we don't want to fly our helicopters too far away from any forward operating positions. So we need to be careful about that. Ah, oh, damn it to hell. I didn't mean to do that. Poo. Alright, well, whatever. We're going to take this Blackhawk that still has the infantry in it. We're going to fly over here to the forward operating base itself. We're going to drop the... We're going to take... Yeah, we're basically going to take Bravo Company and we're going to sweep right there next to the road. Boom, got one. Yeah, I figured there'd be an IED right next to it. All right, well, we took out one. We're going to move down the road a bit more. And we're just going to kind of hang out. We're going to let our helicopters just land uh, there in that forward operating base. Everybody's moved, so let's end a turn. We still have a good 50 hearts and minds. Uh, okay, well, we lost a little bit over there. That's no bueno. Um, it looks like the militia... They're militizing or something. Ain't no good for us. Ain't no good at all. We're going to continue to drive the Husky down the road. Sure as hell, there the Husky goes, blowing up some IEDs on the road. Doing its job like a wonderful little Husky. And we're going to move uh, the MRAP. Oh, crap. Ooh, we got enemy, enemy Taliban units right off to the side of the road. Oh, but we scared them off. But our unit is wounded now, so that's not good. Not good at all. Um, we'll take the buffalo. I don't know. I don't know. What should we do there? Should we build the four operating base right over here? Possibly. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and build the, the Ford operating base again, because that's what I did before. But it's really expensive, so we just got to make sure it counts. We're going to build that, and then we're going to build a hospital extension if it'll let us build it in the same turn. Okay, it did not let us do that because I moved him. Whatever, no big deal. Well, we've got a new forward operating position, so we're going to unload our infantry out of that MRAP because if it gets blown up, I don't want the special forces dudes inside of it to get blown up as well. They're just going to kind of hang out here and keep their eyes open. Make sure anything that happens can be dealt with. We're going to use our our new Ford operating base as a defensive position to put our supply trucks in for the turn um, to basically ensure that they are safe. Uh, and we're going to take this MRAP. We're actually going to, well, can we get everyone there? Yeah, everybody can make it. Wonderful. Wonderful. That makes me happy that everyone can actually make it. <laughs> That's good. Okay, so our supply trucks have su successfully managed to make it to our first checkpoint. We're going to move Echo Squadron in to defend the forward uh, operating base in case it gets attacked. And we're going to move Kilo Squadron, and we're going to put them at the northern base as well. And they're basically just going to hang up with the rest of our guys. We're going to move him up. Ah, oh, damn it. I didn't think there would be an IED there. Son of a monkey. That's not good. So now we've got injured troops who we need to get back. Well, sure as hell. Let's go ahead and pick those dudes up. Now we're going to med medivac them down uh, to this base over here. And now we got fuel, so we're good to go. Um, but since we're basically building an extension here and the next turn, they'll be safer there than anywhere else. So we're going to fly. Actually, we're going to stay right here with this helicopter. Why not? End our turn. All right. Enemy forces are mobilizing. Sure they are. Um, the Husky is going to finish the drive to... Yep, there he goes. He got another IED. Good job. And can the supply trucks make the rest of the journey? I wonder if they can. I'd be so lucky if they could. No, they can't. 
That's all right, though. They can make most of the journey. That's all we need. We just need... There's no way they have enough Taliban forces to take out all four trucks. Or two trucks at any rate. So we're going to go ahead and move them all up the road. And we're going to be very, very quiet. Because we're going to be hunting rabbits. So where's that buffalo? There's the buffalo. Let's go ahead and build a medical extension. And we're going to repair... All right, we repaired. Did we repair the MRAP? We'll put the MRAP right there. And let's click this guy. Wait, where's the buffalo? Mr. Buffalo, there you are. And we're going to repair that. All right, good. So we, were, we repaired our MRAP. <clears throat> but we still have eyes on with our special forces guys. So they should be able to see if anybody comes down the road. We'll put the MRAP back in there to resupply. Um, we are running low on political power, so we got to be careful there. Um, let's take Alpha Squadron and Delta and move them right up behind. It's probably not a good idea that I'm basically leaving these dudes undefended, so I'm going to take Charlie Company. And we are going to fly right here. And we're going to do a drone reconnaissance mission. Yep, there you go. There's some militia. Two militia right off the side of the road. The dirty bastards. All right, well, we've got mortars, so we can open fire on them to disperse them at the very least. Yeah, that dispersed them. So they're off running around now. They don't want none of what we're, uh, we're dishing out, which is absolutely wonderful. We're going to move up Echo Company. And... We're actually going to, you know what, let's go in. We're going to go in on these guys. We're going to drop our infantry right there, and we're going to try to actually take the fight to them, disperse them. 70% chance of success. Yeah, disperse them. Good job, boys. There we go. We actually killed them. Nice job. Got us some political points. That's exactly what we've needed is some uh, political affluence to our actions. So that helped us out a lot. We're going to pick those guys back up. Uh, we're going to fly a bit more. Just keep our eyes on the convoy, basically. No other units are being detected. Uh, we'll go grab that last supply truck and move it down the road. Yep. And on the next turn, our truck will be able to make it to the position. So we're good. We are good. All right. Let's go ahead and end that turn. Yeah, that's all right. Oh, the Husky's about to run out of fuel. No bueno. And we have an injured unit penalty. Does he Is he not getting healed in the base there? Does he need to be on the extension? I guess he needs to be on the medical extension. I suppose. I have no idea how that works. I should have, I should have paid attention to the tutorial. Well, the Husky made it. That's all that's important. Supply truck one made it. Supply truck two has now made it. Supply truck three has also made it. And supply truck four has now made it. The only problem we have at this juncture is uh, there's people who just don't like us. The hearts and mind is still not at 50. Um, which is no bueno. Yeah, and these villages are basically like pro-militia, which isn't good for us. Because we need, we need bonuses here. We need to actually get these people to be cooperative with us fly over there we're basically gonna drop some dudes there no i don't need to control you guys you guys are good village allegiance has changed that's not good <laughs> that's not good at all well there's nothing i can do about it uh we could yeah see send that back get 500 500 um political power we might have to hell it's no bueno but our main objective has been accomplished by sending all the dudes where we've sent them here at that supply base. So we'll just end our turn that on that. And oh my god, our hearts and minds is really low. Civil affairs are really bad right now. It would seem uh, intimidation minus 1.7. But I ain't trying to intimidate you, my brothers. I want to be friends friends um oh i forgot i don't think um special forces guys can actually 
they can't actually gather intel. You have to leave that up to the basic dudes, your basic grunt fellas. So we're going to take that. Well, I guess we're just going to have to leave that Blackhawk right where it is. Yeah, that's a shame. We could take the MRAP, though, if we wanted to. Pick up these fellas here and uh, take us two turns, but we can just go ahead and drive over there. So we've completed one objective, so at least part of our mission is complete, and all we got to do is just keep this uh, base from getting destroyed. So that shouldn't be too hard, right? Oh, and it looks like some new intel has opened up here. All right, so it looks like there's some more bombs further down the road. Did that Husky refuel? Let's look. Yeah, no, it didn't. It's going to be a little bit more time before it fully refuels. All right, well, hmm, no big deal. No big deal. Um, let's do an IED check around this village. Make sure there's no bombs. All right, so there's not. So everything looks to be pretty good. So this is basically Afghanistan 11. Um, this is kind of this is the first mission straight out of the tutorial. Um, it's a simple one, but at the same time, um, I'm pretty terrible at this game. I like it though. It's very interesting. I especially enjoy the concept of like going flying to different um positions and stuff like that. That's that's really cool. Um they're picking like picking troops up, medevacking them out and stuff like that. Really just cool concepts like that. I, I really enjoy that. And establishing forward operating positions and so on. It's it's a cool game. Ah oh, crap. IEDs on the road. Damn it. And then I like that's gonna be like my motto now is aw oh, crap, IEDs. Let's search. That hell, there's two more IEDs around this village. Good god. Wonderful. An uncooperative village, just what we need. They're pro Taliban. Uh, we definitely don't want to be here. Nope. <laughs> anyway. This has been Commissar Bro. Thanks so much for taking a look at this preview with me. I hope you've enjoyed this, and I hope this is a game that you find a little interesting. Again, I do find it quite interesting, to say the least. It's a very interesting concept of a, a very recent conflict. So that, that alone is points in its favor, as far as I'm concerned. So it's a really cool game, and, and, and it's very hard, too. It's definitely hard to accomplish these missions. Um, they do not spoon-feed it to you, that's for sure. But anyway, this has been CB, and I'll see you next time.